Lots of people are wanting to upgrade their GPU, but they just don't want to spend a ton of money. On this channel, we talk about GPUs of all prices, but this video is specifically for people wanting to spend less than $400. You can still have a great gaming experience, even with a limited budget, all thanks to the never ending war between Nvidia and AMD for graphics card market share. This war has drastically reduced the prices for all GPUs. Now, when it comes to choosing the best graphics card, it's not just about observing benchmark scores and just picking whatever scores the highest. If you're looking to purchase a new card that's less in price, then you really have to pay attention to price to performance. And actually, never mind. You don't have to do any calculations on your own as we're about to do that all for you. Stay with us and we'll give you the list here. Number 10, the AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT. If you're after a cheap graphics card that still has features of current generations, then this graphics card is a go-to option. Aim squarely at delivering 1080p, it holds its own when it comes to modern games despite its lower specifications. This Navi 24 GPU is paired with 4GB of memory, which are connected using a 64-bit memory interface. With a frequency of 2300 MHz, which can be boosted up to 2800 MHz, and memory running at 2200 MHz, it promises a performance similar to an NVIDIA GeForce 1650 Super. The RX 6500 XT is combined with a Ryzen 3000 or Ryzen 5000 series CPU to give you the overall best compatibility to take full advantage of the 2800 MHz total boost clock speed. Keep in mind though that this GPU is very much dependent on a PCI 4.0 bandwidth to get the most out of its simple architecture, so make sure to check your system's compatibility before purchase. Number nine, the AMD Radeon RX 6600. The RX 6600 is an affordable graphics card that offers some of the best value for your money of all the graphics cards on the market. It's based on the RDNA 2 architecture and uses the Navi 23 chip. It also offers almost 1800 shaders and eight gigabytes of RAM with 128 bit memory interface. The gaming performance of the 6600 is comparable to a GeForce RTX 2060 Super, and it's best suited for demanding games in 1080p and high details. The 6600's low power consumption is one of its major advantages. Lower power means you might save some money on a power supply unit by picking up something with a lower wattage. And if you're new to PC gaming or on a tight budget, the 6600 is a great GPU. Number eight. The NVIDIA GTX 1660 Super. The 1660 Super is a powerful, affordable, Turing-based desktop GPU. It's based on the TU-116 chip with 1400 shader units, 48 ROPs, 88 TMUs, and 192-bit wide memory bus. While it may not offer features such as DLSS, and real-time ray tracing, nevertheless, it still boasts some architectural improvements when it comes to integer performance. The 1660 Super is most suited for modern demanding games in full HD resolution and maximum detail settings, or you can switch to QHD at slightly reduced settings. Number seven, the Zotac GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. The GeForce 1660 Ti is among the cheap mid-range graphics card that has 1500 shader units, 6 gigabytes of VRAM, and a boost clock of 1770 megahertz. Also, their ability to boost their core clocks higher than 1800 megahertz makes this GPU primarily suited for 1080p gaming. The card is based on the all-new T116 graphics processor, specifically designed to make it fairly affordable. Unlike other Turing GPUs, the TU-116 does not feature acceleration for RTX real-time ray tracing or DLSS. The 1660 Ti is an efficient gaming GPU capable of solid frame rates at 1080p and 1440p thanks to its Turing architecture. While this card bears a couple of similarities to the 1660 Ti Phoenix, the dual fan cooling system of the Zotac is a lot more efficient than the single fan we find on the ASUS card. This then therefore gives the Zotac the advantage of performing at almost the same level as the ASUS Phoenix that has a boost clock of 1785 MHz. Number six, the AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT. The 6700 XT is a fast desktop 
graphics card based on the Navi 22 architecture. It features 40 ray tracing acceleration cores and it's paired with 12 gigabytes of memory, which are connected using a 192 bit memory interface. This GPU operates at a frequency of 2300 megahertz with the possibility of being boosted up to 2500 megahertz. This is a card that is sure to provide the best performance for your money as it is an efficient and offers su superior ray tracing performance to AMD Radeon's rivals. With a power consumption of 230 watts, it highly supports frame rates of 1080p and 1440p without stress. Its vast GDDR6 memory also provides plenty of flexibility for using all the most intense graphical features. While you may have to activate Radeon Super Resolution or FSR1 in games that support it to play ray trace games at 1080p resolution, this card promises to make AMD's impressive new gaming architecture and smart access memory features more attainable than ever. Number five, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050. The RTX 3050 is a mid-range desktop graphics card based on the GA106 Ampere chip. It offers 8GB of memory with a 128-bit memory bus, 2500 cores, and supports PCI 4.0. With improved ray tracing and Tetzer cores on the chip, this card also comes with Ampere chips that include an improved 5th generation video encoder. The RTX 3050 promises performance similar to the older GeForce RTX 2060 and therefore gives you high value for 1080p gaming and demanding games even in some high settings. Number 4, the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1660. The GTX 1660 is one mainstream GPU from NVIDIA designed for players that demand consistent 60 frames per second or more in AAA 1080p games and even higher frame rates in esports titles. With the exception of the specialized Tensor and RT cores that give the GeForce RTX series of cards their higher cost, the card retains all the advantages that NVIDIA made with its move to the Turing architecture. Based on that Turing architecture, it offers 6 GB gigabytes of RAM with a 192-bit memory bus and 1400 CUDA cores. The GTX 1660 offers an impressive full HD performance considering its affordable price. With capabilities like 360-degree HDR and stereo support, every image is rendered with the finest resolution possible. EVGA GeForce GTX 1650 Super Coming in at the 3 spot, the 1650 Super is based on the Turing architecture of NVIDIA. It has 4GB of memory with a bandwidth of 192GB per second. The total 1280 shader units of this GPU are clocked with a maximum 1.7GHz and achieves an FP32 computing power of 4.49 teraflops. It provides advanced levels of gaming immersion, speed, and realism. You get the greatest gaming experience with the G4 16 series gaming cards thanks to next generation graphics performance, ice cold cooling, and powerful overclocking abilities. Number two, the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3050 Gaming Overclocked. The 3050 OC card is based on the Ampere architecture and engineered to handle the graphics requirements of full HD 1080p gaming to give your PC games the power of real-time ray tracing and AI. The GPU offers better performance and power efficiency than the previous Turing-based generation and features 8GB of RAM and a 128-bit memory interface. This GPU is capable of more than simply high-definition gaming. It can handle up to 48 gigabyte seconds of bandwidth and a variety of higher refresh rates and resolutions of 1080p performance and better optimized power delivery. The GPU comes with 2560 cores that can be used by computationally demanding programs to expedite processes utilizing CUDA and other APIs. A very good choice for your budget. Number one, the Zotac GeForce RTX 2060. We're going to throw back to an older generation because we believe that this provides the best value for your money currently. The Turing-based Zotac RTX 2060 graphics card gives your PC games the power of real-time ray tracing and AI. It also comes with improved technologies such as variable rate shading, multi-view rendering, and VR Works audio that enhances VR applications. It's the first card in the RTX 20 series to provide a significant performance boost over the previous generation. It operates at a frequency of 1.3 GHz and a boost up to 1.6 GHz while incorporating 6 GB of memory. It also features 1920 CUDA cores, 48 ROPs, as well as 120 texture units. 
The Zotac 2060 offers top-notch graphics for modern games and can often return excellent frame rates at high and ultra 1080p and also 1440p. All right, guys, that's the end of the list. If you disagreed with anything on our list, please let us know down in the comments. And if you think we left something off the list, also let us know. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.